New tonight, we're learning why a lot of the debris in our area is still on the ground. Officials say South Florida is paying more for debris cleanup, and that's causing a shortage of workers here and driving up costs at the very same time. I'm Wendy Ryan. I'm Paula Gronin for Jameson. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith tonight joining us live with a look at the mess that many homeowners are still dealing with. Well, if you take a tour of Tampa, this is just a snapshot of what you will see. Take a look right here. Storm debris, cluttering curbs and blocking sidewalks stacked really high out here, still waiting to be picked up some almost two weeks after the storm. And when that wind hit, it went everywhere. Tree limbs litter driveways across Tampa. We found piles of storm debris on nearly every curb along Lake Avenue. And just a couple blocks away, the biggest branches were the first ones to come down. One of the city's biggest messes. We busted our bus dragging all this stuff so they could come and pick it up. They haven't picked it up yet. Iris Aurora still waiting 11 days after Irma. Every time I come out and I see it, it, it gets me more sad. People will have to be even more patient to wait for their debris to be picked up. Tampa uses Ceres Environmental Services to help with debris cleanup. The Public Works Department expected them to send 30 extra trucks, but all of the subcontractors hired by the Sarasota company ditched Tampa for South Florida. Their reason was that uh, they're going for more money in South Florida. Tampa pays nearly 10 bucks per cubic yard of debris. Baird says some South Florida towns are reportedly offering $15, a third more. I think it's unconscionable that these equipment suppliers would uh, hold Florida uh, municipalities hostage and hold these contractors hostage in times of a crisis. I'm going to swing around. And a spokesperson tonight, Force Zeros, would not tell me the name of the subcontractor that rerouted equipment trucks from Tampa to South Florida this week, but he did say they are working on bringing more cleanup crews to the Tampa Bay area to increase cleanup efforts here. Reporting live tonight in Tampa, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News. Yeah, Ryan